I got married at 14 years old. This is what happened. So today's question is simply, Elliot, if there was a day in your life that you could go back and relive, what day would it be? And for me, it would be the day that I met my wife. And so that brings us back to 1993, a cold winter on Long Island, New York. I lived in Baldwin and I was hanging out with some black kids that night that wanted to go and hang out with some white girls in the town next door. Well, the problem was that they were gonna meet these girls at midnight and I had a curfew, the black kids didn't. They were gonna go without me. But I snuck out my parents' house, climbed through the window, hopped in a cab with the bros that we took down to Freeport. And we met some girls who apparently had an open home because the mom was sleeping. So uh, we get to this place, we get out the cab, we probably ran and didn't pay our tab, but by the time we got to the house, the girls were ready and waiting at the front door, holding it wide open for the boys to come into her mommy's house was what I would describe as a goofy, cute girl. She was smiling, big, reddish face because she's sort of embarrassed and excited and, you know, goofy. And she was covering her face, which was weird, it was strange. She's laughing, she's smiling, she's covering her face almost like you would see like in the old cartoons of like a Japanese girl, how they would be like bashful and they'd cover their face. She's covering her, her, her bright red face as we're walking in and I just, in the corner of my eye, say, goofy cute, right? She's fine. But I had my eyes on her chubby friend in the corner because I like chubby girls. Anyway, I'm gonna cut that story short and just say that I was a very needy teenager and that goofy cute girl was very generous. And 31 years later, she's still a very horny girl, needy girl, oops. And I'm very generous. We got four kids and life is freaking amazing. So that's a day that I'd wanna relive if I could go back again and do so. And I don't think that 14 year old Elliot would believe the story that I would tell him. Ha! What a crazy ass story that that would be my wife, but not just my wife. She and I stand for, we're an emblem for marriages that can work. We've been so blessed. And so that's a day that I would wanna go back and I begin this video by saying that I was married at 14 years old. So you may be wondering, well, Elliot, yeah, so you were getting some from some girls across town. Doesn't mean that you were married at 14 years old, but we have a very unique upbringing uh, relationship uh, that unfolded over the course of those years in high school and college. As my daughter walks in and is heading towards work. You could have gone through the front door. Bye, everyone. I love you, kid. Love you, guys. Yep, yep, she's my oldest of the four. So anyway, we were very young and it was supposed to be a summer thing and I lived in the other town and she was gonna go away. But her mama had sort of a crack up, you could just imagine, a woman who lets boys, black boys sneak in their house in their daughter's room in the middle of the night, she wasn't well. And so she ended up uh, going away to a home for crazy girls. That should have been my first red flag, but I knew nothing about red flags back then. So she had to go home for crazy people, crazy ladies, right? She needed help, you know, God bless her soul. Uh, but that meant that Colleen was gonna move to the town that I was in, and so summer romance ended up being, well, here she is, she's sticking around, and I guess she's gonna be here for a while because I'm slightly addicted to her as well. Turns out that she was so cool to be around. She is a delight, she is sweet, she is always glowing that smile. She still has that smile to this day. That same goofy, cute smile is the same goofy, cute smile that when I look at her, I giggle and fall in love every single day. So all through high school, all through college, we were 100% a thing. We, we weren't like these people who break up or we broke up for a year and then we came back together. Right out of college, we, went, we moved in together. We lived, went to graduate school together and then uh, got married shortly thereafter. So I got married, officially married in 2003 when I was 24 years old. So 10 years later, you could just imagine what that looks like on a timeline, kind of crazy. All right, so 10 years later, after being married, you know, let me go back and talk about that. Like, we weren't just together. Let me explain. We weren't just together through that whole time. 
We were together like every day. Like she practically lived with me. She is my mother's protege, meaning like she watched my mom in the kitchen. She watched my mom as she dealt with my dad. She watched the way my parents interacted. And so she and I sort of, you know, I talk about the blessings, but the blessings came down from my lineage, my parents. Uh, they are a great example for their family. None of their siblings have, and they've got lots of siblings, like, you know, 12, 15 siblings in combined. They're the only ones that stayed together. And so we got to, we do essentially model my parents. And so my parents are in their seventies and they're gonna die together. And so I met the girl that I was going to ultimately die with when I was 14 years old. Anyway, so just wanted to kind of fill that story in and, uh, and just reiterate that if there was a day that I could go back and relive and blow my mind, it would be that cold winter night when I met the goofy cute girl that became my wife, done.